Okay, the Tokyo Marui Pro Hunter Stainless. I got it off of airsoftglobal.com for the low, low price of $460 shipped. That's not a lot. No, it, it really is. It was way too much money. Yeah, so I'm here looking like a king with the stainless VSR, but uh, let's just say I got a lot of PayPal every month I got to pay off, which is a beautiful replica. Can't deny that. So let's run through some quick upgrades on it. We got the PPS stainless steel cylinder to handle that 500 FPS spring. It also comes with a piston, piston spring guide, and yeah, threw in some PPS sears, PPS spring stopper. And let's just say that it is shooting pretty good. Also threw in the PDI W hold hop up nub. So that's pretty neat. People be like, man, that's a fingerprint magnet, right? But it's not on the stainless that the fingerprints. Like, look at this. Oh God. You press it down. No fingerprint. But on the stock, fingerprints. So the stock, that's where the fingerprints happen. Not on the gun itself, so that theory is like out the window. It's also got a uh, 4x32 scope. Really nice scope. So it says Tokyo Marui on the side. Marui, Japan. But all those upgrades only cost what? 150 bucks? Kept the stock hop up unit because it's Toka Marui. It was shooting pretty good. Didn't want to touch it. It's got that magic, magic spin. It's got VSR on the back. Just do one more. Man, if you can find it out there for like 400 bucks, I say take the deal. Buy yourself one of these. No one's got them. They're rare. They got a resale value. And ultimately, who doesn't want a stainless steel sniper? That's my thing, guys. You have a good one. Stay toasty. Have a good night.